Well, tonight, another unexpected consequence from the pandemic. Doctors say they're seeing more and more patients coming in for foot and ankle treatments. As Eleanor Tabone found out, it's because of the adjustment back to a more active lifestyle. People have been uh, neglecting their feet, so a lot of times just the routine maintenance care has not been happening. During the pandemic, the last thing any of us were thinking about were our feet. People are returning back to activities, and as they're returning back to sports and activities, we're seeing a lot of more sports and stress-related uh, injuries. Dr. Ben Jackson, Associate Professor of Orthopedics at USC and Prisma Health, says he's seen an uptick in patients, all their problems trickling down. As the gym started to reopen, that's when they're really starting to, to see this. Oftentimes stress fractures come when you really try and pick up your activity fairly quickly and uh, you're just not used to it. Dr. Jackson says the increase in COVID-19 related foot problems is due to many of us going barefoot or wearing comfy shoes at home. Folks learn pretty quickly that when your feet hurt, uh, it really affects your whole life. Uh, so not being able to get up and, and walk around is a pretty significant thing. Dr. Jackson says he saw a 44% increase in patient numbers. So I would say in kind of March April time frame really started to see our volume kind of ramp up. It's a lot harder to wear shoes now with that bunion, especially on the right side, trying to find shoes that fit. Rebecca Senai says she's now developed bunions. Being at home um, and not going into work, wearing more tennis shoes, comfortable shoes, um, in the summertime wearing flip flops and then going back to work wearing high heels and flats. Um, they're much more narrow in the front. You can get stress fractures that you get pain associated with things like a bunion or a bunionette deformity can be caused by high heels or, or make that worse. Dr. Jackson says worst case scenario is surgery. Mostly it's just pinching on that side of the shoe, especially after a long day of work. Sometimes when you try on shoes at first, they fit pretty well. Um, and then over the course of the day, you notice that it's really starting to bother you um, and maybe affecting the way you walk a little bit. In Columbia, Eleanor Jabone, News 19 WLTX. Well, the doctor says proper footwear is key to preventing possible injuries. He says if you're getting back into the gym, it is important to pace yourself to prevent any sort of ankle or foot injury.